So in order to create this boundary, we will need to open Google Maps. So just search in your local browser, Google Maps, you will get this link. So you should have a Google account in order to be able to do this. So after opening Google Maps, click on save it and then you will find lists, labeled, visited, click on maps and then click on open my maps. You will be redirected to this page. Now click on create new map and you will be redirected here to Google my maps. So from here we are going to digitize our property. First of all, you need to zoom into your area of interest. So I will go, for example, to this place near Geneva. So you can change the base map by clicking on this button and let's go with the satellite view, for example. So now we will zoom in to look for a property. So let's assume, for example, that this is our property that we want to digitize. So I will use this draw a line button, click on it. There is four options. I will go with the first basic one, add line or shape, click on it. And then I will start to digitize my property. So just by adding points and then I will finish my drawing. And here I have the possibility to rename my polygon. So I will name it property boundary and I will click on save. And here I will change the name of this layer by clicking on here, click on rename this layer, we'll put the same name and we'll click on save. Now that we have our property, we can export it by clicking on this layer options button and then click on export data. And you have the possibility to export it as a KML slash KMZ or CSV. So we'll go with the KML KMZ option in order to be able to load this file in other GIS software like for example Google Earth Pro or ArcGIS or QGIS so click on KML KM so you have now two choices I will go with the second option in order to get my KML file and I will click on download folder go to your download folder and you will get your property boundary as a KML file now you can use this file in any GIS software let's for example go ahead and try to open it with Google Earth Pro so in order to open your, your property boundary in Google Earth Pro, head over to file and then click on open. Navigate to your work folder and then click on your property boundary and then click on open. Now you can see that Google Earth Pro will go directly to your property and you will have the exact location of your property. You can also use this polygon in other GIS software. So I hope that you got some useful information from this tutorial. If so, please like it and subscribe if you want to get more of this kind of tutorials.